or I have to do this quick because my laptop can't record while in play mode. If you spawn a fish that supposedly has max stats, oh, there it is. Yep, see? It looks like blood. I don't know why it looks like blood. It was supposed to look a lot cooler, but you know, I'm just, I like it. <clears throat> The next thing that I want in my game is for fish to be hungry because that's why I have this here. And my brother hit me up like, yo, you should make it like you can plant food and different types of food and you harvest them and each food gives your fish different benefits or stats. I'm like, yo, bro, that's a good idea. And this is where I decided to capitalize off of Heyday. Because Heyday made millions of dollars. You know, I, I think they're doing something right. I'm just going to take their idea. I don't even know if it's 2D or 3D, but I'm going to try to make it, kind of. And you just plant certain crops and harvest certain crops and, yeah, kill stuff. And this is how you're going to get food for your fish. And I don't know how long I want it to take for the fish to die, but kind of don't want the fish to die too fast because someone's going to be like, like, oh my fish they're all dead i think i think i know play no more you know that's not good fam all right so since this whole new concept is new to me i don't really know if heyday is 2d or 3d but i started off trying to make some 3d object and i'm having some trouble mm, oh yeah you know what boys let's confuse the vegans mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Sensei would be so proud of me. <laughs> oh yeah, that is that's perfect. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know much about the ranch meme, but it's probably a good time to mention it. All right, enough stupidity. It's time for code. Where's my script? Mm. See boys, because I'm a professional coder, now I can load the ranch. Wait, what? what? <clears throat> now I can load the ranch. Boom. Uh, 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 I don't like the ranch. Okay, so I finally figured out why the cubes look blank. And it's actually because there is no lighting in a 2D world. Not gonna lie, this kind of bamboozled me. I'm sorry, I never made anything 3D in Unity. This is my first time ever. So let's make 3D game, boys. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a square. Mm. All right, I found a good tutorial series. In Unity, which can represent well a ground floor. This guy has a thick accent, so that just means he's smart. And I don't have an accent, so... <laughs> Let's see if I learn anything from this guy. You know what? Never mind. I just realized Heyday is kind of an isometric game. So I'm going to do this tile map kind of stuff like Pokemon and Heyday and Mario uses. Sorry, Mr. Thick Accent, but I'm going to watch Brackies instead. This beautiful, handsome man. That's, of course, 32 by 32 units with no... 32, 32. So next what we want to do is create a tile map. Go to the object and select tile map. First we want to create a palette. Let's hit select. So now we're actually ready to start painting using our tiles. All right, boys, it's coming together. Beautiful grass. Yo, Brackies, if you're watching this, bro, you're a genius. This is so easy. Wait, how do you fix that corner? Literally, how do you fix that? This is what it looks like, but I'm sorry, guys. I'm changing my mind again. First, I went from 3D to 2D and now I'm going to jump on this isometric look. Now, I, wa I was thinking about doing this one or making it kind of look cool, like Minecraft style, but I think I'm just going to keep this simple one. Oh, and yeah, I found another good tutorial series so that's good and let's see what i come up with all right this is my new tiles that i'm gonna use to paint kapow Ooh, yeah i know you like it i don't know I, I really like it let me just show you how easy this is i just drag the tile palette over here i just select something and paint it like this is so easy and you know what i think i need a house right here man all the good houses cost money that's the dumbest thing ever uh, i like this one but i'm just gonna have to erase out the ground in Krita. look how easy guys and <laughs> they thought they could stop me from stealing their art <laughs> nothing can stop me if you made this and you're uh, watching this thank you for your beautiful house now i shall export your ugly house oh, wow that looks pretty bad i wonder what happened when we click on house 
Uh, touche ugly house okay so i did some painting off camera and i think this looks pretty good i mean there's no shadows but i'm not gonna complain about it i got literally all this for free with all this done now my next problem is just you're stuck to one point of view i'm gonna make it just like that uh, weird game that no one knows about heyday where you just drag and pinch to look around Whew, all right this is awesome look at this boom yeah you can move the camera because when you can move the camera that probably means the game is good <clears throat> yep yep easy peasy now you can do some of this and some of this and if you want to see what's in the store well guess what you can't because he has tinted windows and now you can drag objects wait wait a minute hold what the wait huh wait wait no wait all right so it should work now wait whoa what <clears throat> it should work now so if you drag a building it snaps to the grid like clash of clans or heyday yeah i'm sorry clash of clans and heyday i'm about to put you out of business <laughs> and we can do some of this and some of this oh yeah beautiful <clears throat> all right boys i did a little bit of remodeling we got a little lake right here and if we go up this mountain right here we have a monument of the greatest youtuber <laughs> and then some water over here and now just like clash of clans you can move buildings around and if you can't move somewhere then you can't move somewhere <laughs> this is all pretty fun and it's not even that hard to code this isometric stuff is pretty cool okay so now that this is done i need to make it so that you can plant crops and i need to put the crops and the fields into the store but first i needed some crop images and i came across this i liked it it's pretty nice it's okay but they want 15 dollars per image <laughs> No way, Jose. So I'll just do this. Hey guys, look, I know it's cheeky, but you gotta hustle as an indie game developer, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, look at that. So vulnerable. All right, so I got the farming tiles right here, but I'm not gonna use them yet. And in the asset store, I stumbled upon this really cool UI that I am absolutely in love with. Oh, and this button design is totally not copying Clash of Clans. <laughs> Okay, who am I kidding? Hey, they're doing it right, so I cannot argue with them. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. Looks beautiful. Nice, nice. Now I just need to make it buyable. But I decided to draw some UI for it instead. It looks kind of like this. And if you play Heyday, please don't get mad at me. Uh, Heyday, good job, bro. I, I like it. Why, hello again, Vector Stock. I see you have pretty good stuff for sale. But I'm a Jew, so <laughs> good luck, buddy. Beautiful. It's okay, Vector Stock. Your wheat is being used for good purposes. So now if I grab this wheat, it does nothing. So I need to make it do something because games that do something are pretty good. Oh, psh, this UI over here? <laughs> it's not copying, heyday. Bro, it's like, um, uh, mine is, um. <laughs> All right, I changed the way soil looks. Boom. <laughs> Oh, what is that? That is not a heyday crop field. That is not heyday crops. What are you guys talking about? It's nothing like heyday. Chill out, guys. This is very original. Okay, and I just realized that you can't go back to the fish tank, so I made a submarine to go back. And where is it? Oh, it's right there. You know, some may say this art style is not fitting, but I mean, look at this. It's amazing. Look at those animations. It goes up and then down. Yeah. I know, right? And if you press on it, whoo, yeah, back to fishes. Now I want to make it so that when you move something, it shows a slider on top showing how long you have to wait until you can move it. And guess what? With the magic of editing, boom, there it is. Works like a charm. Now you can move anything with visual feedback, which is pretty essential in games. Uh, 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 um... Yeah, I need to fix it so that the slider doesn't show until you hold it for long enough. And with some more editing magic, <laughs> we'll check it out. Now, if I did this wrong, my game will crash. So I hope it does not crash. Moment of truth, does it work? So when I tap, it should not show the timer. Ah! All right, this is really complicated. I don't know, let's just see if it works. And does it work? Ho oh, ho ho ho, baby. Oh wait, now it doesn't drag at all. 
Do you work? Uh, ho ho! Easy clapper, boys. Ho! That was that was kind of a hairy mess. This script is a hairy mess, but it's working, so that's that. Man, this farm game is super easy to make. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. In the next video, I'm going to be looking into adding a lot more exciting things to the farm. And with that being said, subscribe or like the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.